of Hobika's money. And let's take caller four through the lines at 736-0186. Can you do that? Caller four, 736-0186. And your chance at $350 in cash this morning. And boy, do I have a doozy of a question. And it might be one of those questions that uh, I, I'm not going to, I don't want to give any hints. It's a good question, though. Uh, it is coming up. Next hour, we're going to talk to John Zogby, Zogby Analytics. And we're going to talk about this uh, New York 22nd, the 22nd Congressional District. The GOP primary is coming up on the 28th, which is a Tuesday. Is it a Tuesday? And a week it's from a, today. a week from, from today that the, uh, the Congressional primary. So we're now one week away, and the latest polling shows that uh, that Claudia Tenney is in a dead heat with Stephen Wells. Phillips uh, somewhat behind, uh, actually quite a ways behind, at least in the latest poll. Uh, Zogby coming up next hour. Also, we'll talk to a Fox News political strategist on the Trump split with campaign manager uh, Lewandowski. And then later in the hour, I'm going to play some audio from the press conference, the hospital press conference, and you might want to talk about it. 736-0186. Andrew, we have a caller. Pat is in Bridgewater. Pat, good morning. Today is the day you're going to win $350. Oh, yes, it is. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's your question. Are you a big baseball fan? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, ask me after this question what my theory is on why I think Pat is going to win. Pat's okay. going to win $350 right now. I can feel it in my oh, bones. Okay, here we go, Pat. You'll have seven seconds to answer this question. What Yankee smacked Major League Baseball's first ever home run in November? Ready, go. Uh, catfish Hunter. There goes my theory. Uh, right out the window, uh, Pat. That was, I thought you said you didn't follow any baseball. I didn't, but I always liked that guy because he has a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I was impressed. To, listen, here's my theory. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove my theory. That was great. I mean, Catfish Hunter is a name out of the 70s. I didn't think you'd ever come up with that one. Uh, that is <laughs> not the correct answer, unfortunately. But if you were to name another New York Yankee, who would you name? Oh, um. <laughs> Christine, if you were Derek to name. Jeter. Derek oh, Jeter. Derek Jeter. Yeah. Derek the, Jeter? <laughs> the answer was Derek Jeter. And, I, and my theory was, Pat, uh -huh. if she doesn't know baseball, isn't going to know any baseball names. And she's just the first one that's going to come to her mind, a Yankee, is Derek Jeter. She's going to say Derek Jeter, and she's going to be right. Instead, she comes up with Catfish Hunter. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Pat. Well, listen, we're going we're gonna to give I you something. Sit tight. Andrew's going to hook you up. Maybe some uh, gifts you take it over at uh, Car uh, Carmelo's, all right? Sweet. Thank all you, right, Bill. Pat. You have a great week. Uh, uh, what is today? Tuesday? You have a great week. Yeah. Right, sit tight. You um, too. All right. I almost said weekend. Well, she's adorable. There. All right, uh, yeah, the answer is Derek Jeter. The first Yankee smacked Major League Baseball's first ever home run in November. And that was done by Derek Jeter. It was, yeah. yeah. Does it surprise you? Did you think that I, I'm I the only one surprised you came up with Catfish Hunter? Well, I, I thought I was like, first of all, I know nothing about baseball. Correct, so thinking, which is why you would say Derek Jeter. Right. So yeah, then I'm thinking yeah. he's really trying to give this or one Or Babe away. Ruth, right? Oh, right. A, a Babe Ruth would have been a would Well, have I thought it was like too, November. So. Hmm, there's a twist yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, mostly sunny today. We have a really, really nice day on the way after some rain last night. That rain came through and it cooled off temperatures. And we'll be cooler for the next couple of days. Mid-70s, though. Nice, pleasant weather. Mostly sunny today with a high of 75. Tomorrow, some morning showers in there. We might get a little rain, but still 75 tomorrow. Currently, 60 degrees. Sunny skies at WIBX. Your news, talk, and sports leader. WIBX 950 Utica, Rome. Powered by Marcy Hydraulics, a division of Utica Mag.